Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10, 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 26th of May and we'll be able to extend our beyond that with the Accenture Fair and ESEP Ensembles. Maybe on channel of weeks, we'll have a look at CFSB2 for June at the end of the video. And I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first. A video sales has 6 a UK weather forecast. And we've also released Jeremy Friday as well. Check out those two bits if you'd like to do that. Like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Only nine subscribers needed to get us to 19.7k. So if you could just sub, that'd be absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. You've got calm, relaxed, and mellow, Gav, today. You may have noticed, if you saw yesterday's 10 to 14 day, uh, which I managed to get through within uh, eight minutes, well, seven minutes, 52 seconds, but you was uh, you had rather stressed and um, <laughs> outspoken, Gav, yesterday. I was on my high horse yesterday <laughs> over uh, Windows updates, um, messing up my the settings on my uh, mic and that. So, um, no, today it's all... Calm and relax, hopefully. Hopefully nothing goes wrong with this one. But I did well, didn't I, to get through a 10 to 14 day and win eight in, uh, nearly eight minutes. I thought I did very well with that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I had a bit of a laugh at me and uh, at my, my whole thing. <laughs> right, anyway, going to start off with the latest Wimper map. I hope you haven't got to be Friday. Going to start off with the latest Wimper map from EarthNoSchool.net. Showing that too, showing that bringing wind in from the north, from the northeast uh, again today. So it was nice, fresh feel. However, with burnt up, I'll be uh, forecast went a bit wrong yesterday as well, didn't it? it was Six a.m. forecast. Well, okay, if it could go wrong, it did go wrong yesterday. So by six a.m. forecast yesterday went a bit wrong. We didn't burn off the cloud. However, we've been much more successful in burning off the cloud today, and uh, most of us are going to have a nice afternoon away from the east coast uh, with uh, plenty of sunshine. The uh, north northeast wind will bring the cloud back in, though, to central and eastern regions tonight. Uh, central England temperature is uh, sitting at 12.6. That's 1.4 degree above 61 to 99 average. That is provisional to the 14th of May. These are the GFS of bread temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at Torquay today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Torquay. We're starting off above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. We're generally saying average to a little bit above average by the look of it over the uh, next couple of weeks, actually. So. Nothing particularly dramatic going on uh, temperature-wise, but I think a bit above normal. Precipitation-wise, well, we still see um, the uh, unsettled signs of the unsettled weather uh, re-emerging. So lots of dry weather to come over the next week or so. But as we get into the last week of May, then it is looking more unsettled with some quite large precipitation spikes. Temperature normally is the next five days up to 21st of May, above average in the north, near a normal Further south, 6 to 10 day, temperature and just a little bit above average, and 10 to 14 day, uh, up to the 30th of May, month 10 basically, uh, coming out a little bit above average as well. And uh, what about precipitation? Well, extremely dry over the next seven days to the 23rd of May, uh, 8 to 14 day. That looks rather different, much closer to average, even a bit wetter than average in some northern and western areas. And um, 10 16 day, uh, actually, um, a little bit more above average precipitation in more areas. So there is definitely a change there from, you know, the first seven days, which looked very, very dry, something rather more uh, unsettled into the uh, second seven days, sort of seven, day seven to 14. Right, let's start going through chart data. Man, Miss Alvarez, UK Met Your run is looking for a big night on Monday. So high pressure sitting to the north, bringing the wind from the east. Uh, mostly dry, but probably got quite a lot of clouds, especially in the south and the east. Through next week, we find high pressure ridging to the north and west. A chop of low pressure is at sitting over the Baltic Sea. That brings the wind in from the northeast. And they could deliver a few showers into more eastern regions. I can't again with the uh, high pressure dominating weather on Monday and lasting in Tuesday. 
on Wednesday as well. Really gradually weakening that high pressure through the second half next week. Just showing signs something a little bit more unsettled starting to edge in from off the Atlantic. When I say unsettled, I really mean, you know, a bit showering, I suppose. Nothing overly dramatic to the end of next week going on with ICOM. The KMA looking like that. Again, ridging, uh, continuing throughout much of uh, next week. Um, garage about day 10, low pressure starts to break through. So we do turn on and settle with the KMA. It takes until about days 10, 11 and beyond to do that. But eventually the KMA breaks down at the high and brings low pressure in by the 28th of May. Then we've got the uh, GFS, Midnight Run. Again, a lot of bridging through next week. So, continuation, mainly dry weather. A little bit more showery by the end of next week. And slowly turning more unsettled into Bank Holiday weekend. So, that is Bank Holiday Monday, 26th of May. With a trough of low pressure band sitting over top of the country. That will bring showers along spells of rain if it was to verify. Beyond that, low pressure keeps punching through. So, further unsettled conditions taking us up to the beginning of June. That gets us to Sunday, 1st of June, with low pressure out in the Atlantic. And the GFS 6 then, again, plenty of high pressure, bringing dry conditions, turning more showery by the end of next week into the Bank Holiday weekend. The uh, 6 then also bring, bringing in low pressure from off the Atlantic, albeit, I mean, we're not talking about um, the dartboard lows, which GFS was indicated a couple of days ago, so nothing too bad, but, like, it does turn a little bit more showery and cooler over the bank holiday weekend. And uh, then the low pressures keep on coming, and perhaps bigger low pressures by the end of May, I guess to the 30th of May, quite a big low, then, is coming in from off the Atlantic. So rather cool, rather unsettled. With some spells of rain there from the end of May into the beginning of June. But again, that real change, like properly unsettled weather, is beyond day 10. So I've uh, got to wait and see a little bit longer, I think, whether that verifies. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this sound, all of our videos and content. Don't forget to friends about gas flows, get them to subscribe too. Thank you so, thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Nine subscribers is all we need to get ourselves to 19.7k. Uh, we are so close to our next 100 with 19,000. So if you could, could give us a sub, that would be amazing. And if you could give us a little donation, gas flows, that would be awesome as well. Very helpful. This is our PayPal page. So come to this page, click through the link in the description. Come to this page, sign up to PayPal account, and uh, donate what you would like to Gareth Rovers. We'll give you a shout out in the videos. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that for us. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, right, GM again with high pressure in control and in the ascendancy throughout most of next week. Gradually weaken that high pressure by the end of next week. Some lower pressure beginning to head in from off the Atlantic. Around days 8, 9 and 10, low pressure punching in brings unsettled, particularly to the north and the west, with some quite heavy rain at times there. So most of the model output is now picking up on a change to, well, let's say showery conditions over the bank holiday weekend and more mixed conditions as well. It does look like a change could be on the way here, could well be on the way. And then the ECM rounding it all off. So again, high pressure is still blocking things out throughout most of next week. <coughs> so sorry, everyone, gradually weakening the high by the end of next week. Some lower pressure starting to appear to the north and the west. But it's not really until we get towards the latter part back on the weekend that we start getting proper low pressure punching through. That will probably bring a band of rain across the country at that low around Iceland. And then it looks like we're into a rather cool and unsettled pattern then through to the end of May. That actually gets to the last day of May with low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic again. So a change from high pressure to low pressure within uh, the uh, remainder or within the second half of May there from the East Shed. This is the precipitation forecast based on the East Shed run from Tibet.com. Lots of drivers to come in the next few days. A few heavy showers possible through the central areas um, uh, through Sunday into Monday. There could be some uh, thundery downpours and whatnot. A bit unsure 
about that, to be honest. Um, then a lot of dry weather through most of next week. But it's heading to Bank Holiday Weekend. Then it starts to turn more unsettled with uh, low pressure. Be bring like a proper band of rain across the country sometime since we've uh, seen that. These are the options on the table within the ESM Ensembles for Day 10. Going to get us to the 25th of May. These are from last night's 12Z. Uh, by the way, they haven't updated for today, but I thought I'd show you last night, 12Z, for the ensemble, so we have signed it, Met Office. So, um, 20 members of the East Gem Ensemble is bringing low pressure in from Atlanta, looking unsettled. 13, with uh, low pressure out to the west, high pressure to the southwest, so just about holding on, higher pressure there. 10, with a ridge through the uh, west of Europe, low pressure out in the Atlantic. And 8, with uh, quite deep low pressure through the north and west of Europe. The 20 and the 8 against the 13 and the 10. It's almost a 50-50 split between settled or unsettled at day 10 there, but probably just about favouring the more unsettled option. And then in two weeks' time, uh, these are the options like Hag gets the 30th of May, more or less months, and 20 members of the East Gem Ensemble still just about holding on to the ridge. 18, very unsettled, trough of low over country, and 10, probably a bit showery. Again, to put the 13 together with the 18, have a majority that's in favour of unsettled weather there. Lastly, the CFSB2. So, this is how the latest 700 millibar height anomaly is looking for June. Remember, these charts change daily, but today's idea looks like this high pressure to the west and to the southwest, bringing the wind in from a west to northwesterly uh, direction there. So, it could be a little bit on the cooler and more showery side. The temperature anomaly is uh, a bit above average, and the precipitation anomaly, no signal. Um, close to normal. I would expect probably quite a mixed month would be likely with that. We have got the Azores high to the southwest, but I think the low and the jet stream is running in over top of that. So probably quite a mixed month. Certainly more mixed than we've had for uh, the last several months, I would say, there, if that was to verify. But again, it's only one run for CFS. Speed charts do change daily, so we'll have to wait and see. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. And why not drop a comment, let us know anything about this and all my videos. As a contact, don't forget to tell friends about Gavs on this game. Subscribe too. Make sure you show everyone for doing that. Nine subscribers gets us to 19.7k. So thank you so much, everyone. Right, tomorrow we're going to have 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. ECM WF 42 day forecast for UK and for, for Ireland. And there'll be a 10 to 14 day as well. So keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Friday, and bye for now.